This is Ron at Liftoff with another Office 365 tip. Today we're going to look at creating a vacation calendar inside of Office 365. It's a very popular configuration for many of our clients. First thing we need to do is we're going to need to go into the Exchange Control Panel and create the Room Mailbox. Room Mailboxes are really just shared calendars, typical, typically used to manage uh, a conference room. But in this case, we want to do much more. We want it to track vacation for a team or for an entire company. We're going to name it Conference uh, Vacation, just so that it appears with the other conference rooms. We have to assign it an email address. That's how someone would notify the vacation calendar that they will be away. Be sure to choose the correct domain. And save. So this has just basically created a simple room mailbox. The next thing that we'll need to do is we have to tell this mailbox that conflicts are possible. By default this is first come first serve and that doesn't work on vacation calendars. So we're going to choose the vacation calendar and we're going to go into our settings and we're going to tell the system to allow conflicts on this particular calendar. We'll click Save. Now there's one final step that's very important. Vacation calendars by default only allow you to see free busy. But in this case, if you want everyone to know who else is on vacation, which is critical here, you need to run this PowerShell command in order to set that. By running that PowerShell command, now all users will be able to open that calendar and see the details of who is currently on vacation. For more tips on Office 365, check out the Learning Center at liftoffonline.com.